Hi, I'm Elaine Harding. Welcome to my blog at stampwithelaine.com. Today's card inspiration came from the snail mail suite, which you'll find on pages 54 to 55 in the new January to June 2021 mini. If you want to purchase the entire suite, there is a shortcut code where you just key in the sweet collection code down here and it will give you the bundle price for the stamp set and dies and one each of these elements in the suite so there'll be the snail mail twine combo pack the resin hearts and the snail mail designer series paper. I took my inspiration for this from this card here, which is a paper weaving background, but I've tweaked it to make it my own. So this is the stamp set, snailed it, bundled with the dies, and these are the dies we're going to be using today. These are the papers we're going to be using, and it's the snail mail designer series paper. You have dies that will actually cut out the images from the patterned paper and I'll show you which dies these are in a minute and that's the reverse of the papers. From this patterned designer series paper there is a die that will cut out this snail. On this piece there is this die that will cut out the snail facing to the left also the letters from here and these dies will cut, also cut out the stamped images from this sheet this speech bubble will cut out bubbles from here in whatever direction it's pointing and from these two sheets I cut out strips that were six inches by uh, different widths so they range from an eighth of an inch to a quarter inch to half an inch to and three eighth inches. In metric that's 0 0.3 centimeters, 0 0.6 centimeters or one centimeter. I skipped the half inch so you can use the front or the reverse to do your paper weaving. For your card base, this is half an A4 sheet in Europe, which measures five and seven eighth inches by eight and a quarter inches and folded in half. You need two pieces of Whisper White cardstock. They are substituting it for basic white, which is comparable. And the reason why the Whisper White has been phased out, it's because the manufacturer fortunately uh, went out of business because of covid and the mill is no longer available the whisper white will be available while stocks last so if you don't have whisper white you can swap to very vanilla very vanilla is just as nice these have been cut at three and three quarter inches by five and a half inches in metric that's um, 9.5 by 14 centimeters one for the outside and one for the inside you need a scrap of Bermuda Bay to die cut this large postage stamp and from this sheet of designer series paper you need to cut out one of the snails and a stamped envelope and from this sheet of paper, die cut a hello speech bubble. Actually, I changed my mind. I think I stamped this and die cut it out. So we need a scrap of Whisper White and the speech bubble die and some Bermuda Bay ink. Stamp that first. Change it in this direction. So let's hope that that stamps perfectly. While I've got the ink pad out I might as well stamp here. So to die cut it you need your platform one, platform two which is the thin die adapter. I swapped my plates over now because the other one was bowed so badly I couldn't use it. So I'm going to use the top plate as my base plate and then a new 
number three plate for the top plate and I'll run that through the machine and I'll be back. I'll adhere the inside piece to the card base so I don't lose it. Very often I'll put something down and then I spend half an hour trying to look for it. I'll glue the die cut snail as well so I don't lose that either. Now we're going to do the paper weaving. Use some painter's tape. The stamper art is at least <clears throat> I know that when it's buttered up to the edge like that it's all straight. Pop that on so that they don't move around. And then I'm going to use the yellow bits under, over, under, over, like so. Now I'm going to lift that up and just pop some adhesive on the back of this so that it doesn't fall apart. It's okay. So just here, got way too much glue. Lift that up and pop a bit of glue there as well so that it doesn't move. Then I'll put the reverse So I'll go under this time over the opposite numbers. And then just slide it up to the as close as I can to the previous row. Then lift this up again and pop just a dollop of glue to anchor it so that when you pick it up next time um, it doesn't all fall apart okay so then your next layer is the opposite of the previous row over under over under over I want it this way so there are five strips on the on the vertical ones and um, as many as you want on the horizontal. So let's put adhesive on here. Just a dot to keep it in place. And this time you go under over, under, over. Again, glue. I wonder if that's enough for the background. No, I think I might need some more. So now I've got to go over, under, over. And uh, over. Tie a dollop of glue there to secure it, and one on the end to secure that one. Um, so that one will be under, over, under, over, under. So shuffle it up to there. And then apply my adhesive again. Next one over, under, over, under, over. Now the next stage is um, 
see this won't fall if you glue it as you go along I'm going to tear off bits so that it doesn't look even now I've torn that off I can now glue, glue this piece onto the card base just around about there dimensionals on the back remove all the backing pieces from the dimensionals pop that down here so I put dimensionals on the back and pop that on and lastly it's the little letter that we have to put on there as well so I'll pop that on dimensionals also with these mini ones sort of about there before I go I thought I'd show you some other cards I've made with it this had a pool party card base and I used the bricks embossing folder I made a post box size that down to fit the post box otherwise it would have been too wide and that's a little envelope die with a card inside and I used the resin hearts for that and just decorated the inside with some uh, designer paper from left over from this and this one uses the mushroom one and I just did some colouring that was die cut from the paper um, and the mushroom dies as well and just decorated the inside with some designer paper so that's other ideas of how to use it but for today paper weaving background we used for today's card I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial and pop back for more inspiration next time Hi, lists are below um, this video in the show more section um, you can also read more about it on my blog at stampwithelane.com thanks for joining me today bye <laughs>